In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create animated vision slide in PowerPoint and this is completely editable. Let me just show you how it looks. You can see here I've added a texture background and when I click each alphabet will fall down. You can see here with the vision and then a character with a binocular looking for the other side and you can add some the shadow effect Add you can detail text here and you can add some arrow designs uh, at the back side. As I said, this is completely editable. You can replace the text with any of your text, any character, you can just add it here. If you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel PowerPoint University. You can join my WhatsApp group with the help of this link. It is also provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and I'm going to change the background for that right mouse click. Go to format background. You can see here a picture or texture field. Click on that and from the texture I can choose anything. I'm going to select this oak. You can see here and if you like to change the style or different effects you can go to the effects here. You can see here a different effects has been created. So depending on your requirement you can choose any of this. So first let's start the text. I'm going to type vision. You can type any text. So I'm going to type each alphabet separately starting with vision. So I'm just going to type V here. Center align. Let me just make the font maybe a black for the meantime. And I'm going to choose some dark uh, fonts for this. Maybe Adobe which is somewhat maybe this one you can see here or you can choose any font of your choice and I'm going to increase the size you can see here let me just increase the size something like this and I can reduce the width all right or even I can make it to the right align also now this one I'm going to keep it here and again if you want to increase or reduce the size it's up to us later on also we can do that so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give a 3D effect. To give a 3D effect for the text, you can see here you've got two options, shape options and text option. You should not go to the shape option here and then go to 3D objects. You should not go here because we are dealing with the text. Always you need to go and select text option here. Can you see here text option and then go to the text effects. You can see here under the text effects, go to 3D rotation from the preset i'm going to select can you see here the isometric top up something like this so it looks something like this now i'm just going to place this here then go to 3d format you can see here scroll it down and depth can you see here depth depending on your requirement i'm going to keep on increasing for each alphabet maybe i'm going to start with say 20 you can see here 20 looks something like this and you can see the lighting and material so select the lighting i'm going to select this one which is a bright room you can see here and the material i'm going to use let it be this one and then i'm going to change the font uh, color i can give any blue color something like this or any color of your choice whichever color which you feel better you can add it i'm just going to add this blue you can see here and i'm just going to put it here now the same thing i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to add each alphabet so press ctrl d so this is i you can see here now this one the depth i'm going to increase gradually so this the depth you can see here this is how much the depth here sorry i have to go to the text option see i'm i've got confused so we have to be very careful so we have to go to the text options and then see here the depth option is 20 now i'm going to make this as 40 all right and then just place next to see if you place like this it looks on the top so then we have to go to format and send to back all right and then just place it properly so this is i press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to change to s again go to the text options and the depth i'm going to increase to 60 
send this to back so we can see here vis again control d again i again from the depth to 62 i'll make it 80 so i'm 20 20 i'm keep on increasing and again send this to back control d so this could be o capital o again send this to back and change the depth from 80 to 100 and the last one control d i'm going to select and make it n and this could be 120 120 something like this and then just put it here again send this to back now what we need to do we have to select all by pressing ctrl a you can see here then i'm just going to move it here so again depending on your requirement which text you need to add its vision its mission its education any text you can think of you can just do the same way what i did just now so now what we can do is we can give some shadow effect to give the shadow effect go to insert you can see a shape i'm going to select this freeform shape you can see here then i'm just going to start from v can you see here i'm just clicking on v and just take it to the end here or you can just make it here also not a problem then again to this end to this you can see here from here again i'm just going to attach to the the point where i have started just click like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and increase the transparency you can see here increase the transparency something like this and if you want you can go to the effects and under soft adjust you can increase somewhat soft adjust something like this and then send this to back so like this we have created the shadow effect so it's up to you whether how much uh, the dark shade you need you can increase or decrease you can see here if you want more increase or if you want to is to reduce that one so it's up to you how much you want to do that i have created one animated character uh, something like this a person is holding you can see a binocular and then i'm just going to uh, put it on the top this was done in the Adobe Illustrator. If you have any other things also, you can just simply add it here. So I'm just going to keep this person on the top of N. And then you can add some detailed text here. For that, go to insert text box. Add your detail text here. I'm going to choose the font Century Gothic center align make it white increase the size you can see here and then go to the text option again and here let me just go to the 3d rotation i'm going to choose the same isometric top up and then just put it here so you can just add your uh, text something like this and then if you want to add some more thing like uh, a graph or an arrow which is going from you know a trend which is going upwards for that also i can just simply select I can go to the the free form you can see here starting from here it is going like this and then just double click this one and shape outline you can make it wide and then I can make it weight six points or I can just go to the here underline I can increase also here you can see here something like this and the end arrow type also I can make it something like this let me just show you i will just go here and the end arrow type i'm just going to select this you can see here or any other thing you can choose uh, maybe the end arrow size i can make it something like this also so it's up to you whichever and for this also you can give some a uh, 3d object also so again you can go to the effects and then under the 3d rotation maybe i can choose this one you can see here and i can give the depth 
so you can see here you can give a depth something like this so depending on your requirement you can do you can think of doing a lot of things so i'm just going to keep this here and send this to back so something like this it will look now we have added the text the vision as i said that this can be replaced with any other text for example i want to make this as mission i can just simply type m there that's it so again yeah of course uh, the spelling is not correct but uh, you can do something like that um, just for the sample i have showed you now it's time for the animation what i'm going to do is go to the animations tab enable the animation pane and here let me just delete any because i have used the animation before for let that be removed now i'm going to select the letter v go to add animation go to more entrance effect you can choose any animation of your choice but i'm just going to uh, use this you know under exciting i'm going to select the drop you can see the drop click on the drop so it drops like this and click ok and then i'm going to select this and animation i'm going to select i you can see here and this should happen with previous a uh, delay of 0.25 seconds so one click it will keep on coming one by one so i can just select now for the here i'll set animation painter and click on s you can see here and again animation painter i can click on i then again animation painter o and the last one n you can see here and then you have to just keep on increasing the the interval or the delay you can see here 0.75 then i can make it one and this is 1.25 something like this and then i'm going to select this and i'm going to make it a say a wipe effect wipe effect i can say from left and this should happen after previous all right and this man should come fly in fly in maybe from top and this also should happen after previous you can see here then the text i can give as a fade effect or any other color or oh, sorry the animation you can choose this is also after a, and then this one i can give a wipe effect and starting from bottom no problems and this also after previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here so that's the end of the uh, tutorial and uh, depending on your requirement you can change the text you can change the background you can change the other text the person a uh, lot of things you can think of doing with this slide